Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Marlene. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. What about you? Fine, thank you. Fine, excellent. Thanks for being here. Hello, Lorena. Hi. Hello, teacher. How are you today, Lorena? Muy fine, thank. Excellent. Nice to eh, Aprovechando por ahí puse un en el WhatsApp porque fíjese que voy, eh, bueno, de hecho no tengo mucha señal y por ratito se me desconecta el, el okay. micrófono, pero aquí está. Okay, thanks for being right here. Thank you for telling me. Let me see, who else is here? Here we have Adriana. Hello. Good evening, Good evening teacher. How are you today, Adri? I'm cold. Exactly, yes. I'm too. Yes, but the weather is delicious, right? Exactly. Good. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Let's see, Estrella. Hello. Hello. How are you today, Estrella? Good? Um, okay. uh, <laughs> no. No, you are not good. No. 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 Okay. Probably during the, the rest of the class, you feel better. Okay. Nice to have okay. you here. Thank you for being right here. Hello, Sarai. Hi. Sarai, are you here? No, Sarai today. Okay, no problem. Ros Rosalba, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Well, I'm okay. What about you? I'm fine. You are teacher. Fine? Yes. Por si por ratitos no me veo, es que la, no sé, pero la señal está mala y por ratito la escucho pausada, se, el video se corta, entonces para tal vez mejorar, digo yo, ¿verdad? Lindas, por eso apago la cámara, que tal vez. Eh, pero aquí estoy. Okay. okay, thank you for telling me. Thank you so much. Okay. Now let's see, Raquel. Hello, Raquel. Nice to see Hello, you. People. How are you today? Very good. Very good. Okay, nice to have you here. Thank you so much. Hello, Martita. Hello. How are you today? Good evening. You feel good? Happy. Happy. Okay, good. that's excellent. Let me see, Maria Leticia. Hello. Maria Leticia, are you here? No. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much, guys, for having the camera on, okay? That's something nice. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Just one thing, guys. Um, As you could see, we got a message on WhatsApp, and it says that we need the full name, okay? Your complete name. For example, my name is Griselda Nicole Hueso Castro, right? So I have the full name, okay? I will not have only Nicole, right? So please, for the next class, it's going to be tomorrow, have your full name, okay? Nombre completo, guys, okay? Thank you so much. So now, let's start with the class because I think that we are ready for that. Look at the question that I have right here for you. What is your favorite celebration? Mm -hmm. In my case, as you could notice here, right? I love Christmas. So my favorite season is Christmas. What about you, Adriana? What is your favorite celebration? Christmas too. Christmas too. Yes. Why? Yes, because uh, my grandmother, uh, uh, she is like the this celebration, and um, como se dice, es básicamente lo hacía como una tradición. It's like es, a tradition. En ella nos, nos todo, todas las navidades era de eh, hacer el nacimiento porque era enorme el, el nacimiento ¿Really? era de toda de toda la, la el patio de la casa la verja de la casa era oh, enorme big right yes okay. y, lo, y los santos eran casi del tamaño de uno <laughs> era enorme <laughs> okay thank you so much for sharing that okay so your favorite celebration it's going to be Christmas, right? Excellent. What about you, Sarai? What is your favorite celebration? Yeah, my favorite celebration is Christmas. Two? Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Can you tell me why? 
Uh -huh. Can you tell me the reason why? ¿Por qué? Bueno, es que siempre pasábamos en familia, en, en la casa, entonces compartíamos con todos. Okay, thank you so much. Because of the family, right? Family love. Okay, thank you so much. What about you, Marleni? What is your favorite celebration? I think Christmas too. Christmas. <laughs> the same reason, because of the family? Yes. Yeah. I I start the celebration in in November. <laughs> November. Yeah. Yes. In for two months. For two months. Okay. Five so months. tomorrow you are going to have the Christmas tree, right? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much. What about you, Raquel? What is your favorite celebration? My favorite celebration. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo sería la palabra? Celebration. Celebration is my, my birthday. Your birthday. Okay. Excellent. Why? Because of the gifts. Um, me regalan cosas. Yeah, because of the gifts, right? Yeah. That is the way you say regalos. Gifts. Regalos, okay? There you go with the word. Excellent, okay? So now, guys, today we're going to study some holidays that we have in the USA, okay? So we're going to study some of them, the dates in which people celebrate those holidays, and we can have some vocabulary about it, okay? So let's pay attention to it. I will share my screen, and let me know if you can listen to the video, okay? Hi everyone, in this class you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Can you listen to it? Yes. Yes, yes. thank you. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, 4th Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February... 14. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so here you go with this video, right? So, please, I want you to do some sentences. Look at it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we have six celebrations. And I want you to create one sentence per celebration. As you could see here, we have an example, right, of Valentine's Day. And I want you to use be plus going to, okay? For example, let's imagine for Halloween, right? Halloween... Uh, for Halloween day, I am going to go out to a party, right? For example, at 9 p.m. And we can say also the date. Halloween is going to be on October 31st, okay? So I want you to use the, the structure be going to, okay? Is it clear what you are going to do? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, so please, go ahead and do it. I will give you, let me see, only four minutes because I think that, that that's enough. Okay, only four minutes. Remember that if you have questions or doubts about the vocabulary that you can use, just let me know and I will be here helping you. Mm 
Okay, you are missing two more minutes, okay? Did you finish, Rosalba? Excellent. Okay, can you tell me your sentences, please? Okay. <clears throat> New Year's Day is going to be on January 1st. I'm going to have a party with all my family. Okay, excellent. Perfect. Let me see who else. Aha. Uh -huh. I have right here Lisandro, right? Lisandro is drinking. Hello. Did you finish, Lisandro? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Can you tell me one sentence, please? Uh, Christmas Day is going to be on December 25. I am going to visit my family. Okay, hey, excellent. I'm going to visit my family. Okay, it's going to be December 25th, okay? 25th. Exactly. Thank you so much. What about you, Marlene? Did you finish? One moment, please. Okay, take your time. Let me see who else. What about you, Estrella? Did you finish? No. No. Uh, I am how uh, so two uh, other things. Two sentences. Yes. Can you tell me one sentence, please? Uh, New Year's Day is going to be a trip all day. I am going to in, in, to in this my boyfriend. Okay. Can you say it one more time, please? Because I, I have problems to listen to you. Okay, uh, repeat. Yes, please. Okay, she's not here anymore, I think. So let me see, Adri, do you have any sentence? Yes, but I have a question. Question. Yes. Question. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> eh, ¿Cómo se dice desfile? Desfile. It's going to be parade. Parade. Okay. Okay. Eh, I see. Eh, Independence Independence Day is going to be September fifteenth. Eh, uh huh. Eh, I'm going to see the parade. Excellent. Good example. Perfect. Thank you so much. Let's see who else is here. All right, here we have Sandy, right? Hello, Sandy. Hi. Are you here? La camera, teacher. I have the camera on. I have A the camera. No la camera exactly. That is why I'm asking Sandy. Are you Shut here? Up, Sandro. <laughs> Andy is not here, right? Okay, there's no problem. Let me see. Brenda Guadalupe, are you here? No, Brenda Guadalupe. Okay, Sandy and Brenda are not here. No. Let... 
Hello. Can you give uh, me a sentence, please? Valentine's Day is going to be one February 14. Uh -huh. I'm going to enjoy with my children. Okay, that was great. Thank you so much. Probably one day I can see your face, right? And you can turn on your camera so that I can see you, right? I will appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let me see who else. Yeah, Rocio. Hello. Hello. Rocio, are you here? Rocio Gabriela. No, Rocio Gabriela. Okay, so we have two, right? Sandy and Rocio Gabriela. Then let's see. Maria Leticia. Hello. No, Maria Leticia neither. Oh my God, what's happening right here? Okay, there's no problem. Then let's see, Veronica Jamilet. Yes, Estrella? Okay. Can you tell me one sentence? Sí, la que estaba diciendo. Okay, I'm going to be with my boyfriend, right? Excellent. Okay, good example. Thank you so much. Let's see, Sandra, Veronica, hello. Hello, teacher. Can um, you give me one okay. sentence, please? Sí, uh, okay. Yes. Uh, in December, celebrate uh, going to be in the sweet family. Okay, one more time. Can you repeat the sentence, please? Uh, repeat. Yes, please. Um. In this December, uh, celebrate going to be in the seat family. Okay, it's going to be, I am going to visit, okay? It's going to be in this way, I'm going to visit my family, okay? In that way, can you read that sentence, please, Veronica? The sentence that you have in the chat. Ah, okay. And the chat lo escribió. Yes. Okay. Can you read that uh, sentence? I am going to be. I am going to visit family. Exactly, my family. Thank you so much. And let's see the other person, Sandra Veronica. Hello. 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 Can you give me one sentence, please? Um, no es por excusarme, pero ya este, cuando entré, estaban en eso y no sabía qué es lo que estaban haciendo. Ahorita estoy como poniéndome al contexto. Porque no, no sé. Ok. Perdí ok. No ok, for the next time, you tell me when you enter, ok? So that I can give you the context. Now, guys, I remember yesterday I told you that we are going to have an oral activity, right? So... This is the moment for the oral activity. Look at it. What we are going to do right now. Here we have this roulette, right? I'm going to spin the roulette and I'm going to choose one volunteer. And the volunteer is going to have these pieces of phrases, let's say, into a yes, no question. Yes, Estrella Guadalupe. Yes. Yeah. You want to be my volunteer? Sí, yes. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, so I will start. Let me see what's happening right here. Okay, here you have the first thing. Granny, make a cake. Uh -huh. Can you make this piece of sentence into a yes, no question, please? No question. Mm -hmm. 
how is going to be that? Um, teacher. Yes. Con estas Yes, no questions. No questions. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, questions. It's going to be yes, no questions. Uh huh. Then an example, teacher. Okay, I, I, I was about to do that. Okay, here you have Granny make a cake. Remember that the first thing that we need is the verb be, right? For Granny, it's going to be Abuelita, right? We use the verb be is. So we are going to say, is my granny going to make a cake? Exactly. Okay. Like that. Yes, Look at it. Ah, sorry. Yes, I made a mistake. It's going to be granny. No, granny. <laughs> sorry. Granny. Exactly. It will be in that way. Is granny going to make a cake? Okay, in that way. Did you understand or not? Yes? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. okay. So we are going to start with Estrella, right? Now that we are clear on this. And then I'm going to choose another person. Okay, Estrella, this is yours. We listen to music. Mm-hmm. Um. We are, uh, we are, um, we are, um, one, we listen to music. Okay. We are, uh, we are, we are going to listen to music. Okay, excellent. That is a good sentence. But remember that right here we need a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. okay. huh. So we need the verb be. At the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, can you make that into a just no question? Uh huh. Estrella Guadalupe, somebody. Uh huh. Can you make this into a just no question? Uh, you have, okay, I will explain this in Spanish. Vamos a crear una, una pregunta corta de sí o no. Recordemos que para crear este tipo de preguntas, lo que necesitamos al inicio es el verb be. Okay. Yes. Are we? Say are going. Ajá. ¿Cómo yes, sería God. entonces? Ajá. ¿Cómo sería? ¿Sería Guadalupe? Are we Excellent. Perfect. It's going to be in that way. Perfect. Are we going to listen to music? Excellent. That was so great. Thank you so much. Now let's see another person, another volunteer. Let me see if I have one. If not, I'm going to choose, right? There's no problem. So I think, thank you, Marlene, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So here you have my brothers play video games. Okay. <clears throat> Is my brother going to play video games excellent that was perfect just one little detail look at it we have brothers in brothers uh -huh. okay so it's going to be how is is my brothers aha uh -huh. do we use is is with brothers oh. or are are yes yes are my brothers yeah are my brothers going to play video games? Perfect. 
Excellent. That was it. Thank you so much. Let me see. Then my next volunteer is going to be Lisandro, right? Please, Lisandro. Here you have it. My teacher. He read he, in comics. He, is he going to read comics? Perfect, right? You see? Easy, yeah. right? Thank you so much, Lisandro. That was so great. Then let's see. Um, we are going to have. Let me see. We have right here Raquel Abigail. Here you have it. This is yours. They run in the park. Aha. Uh -huh. Are they going to run in the park? Excellent. That was it. Thank you so much. Yes, Brenda, you want to be my volunteer? A la niña Rosalba, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, you want to be my volunteer. Okay, so this is for you. Yes, Lisandro. Then Rosalba is going to be my volunteer. So look at it, Brenda. This is for you. The teacher explained a math exercise. Okay. Is the teacher uh -huh. going to explain a math exercise? Perfect. Remember the intonation, right? Is the teacher going to explain a math exercise? Okay. Thank you so much. That was great, Brenda. This is for Rosalba, right? A petition from Lisandro. So here we have, this is for you. I something easy, right? My cat and then sleep. Is my my cat going to sleep? Perfect. Good intonation. That was it. Thank you so much. And this is for Martha, right? Look at it, Martha. Here we have it. Uh-huh. Okay. He do his homework. What about this one, Martha? Is he going to do his homework? Home, homework. Okay, excellent. Oh. Homework. <laughs> homework. Homework, exactly. It will be, is he going to do his homework? Is he the, is, no, is he <laughs> Going to do his uh -huh. Exactly, in that way. Great. Yes, in that way. Thank you so much. Then let's see, my other volunteer is going to be Sarai. Thank you so much. My classmates study science. Our... Are my classmates going to study at science? Science. Science. Mm -hmm. Exactly, in that way. Thank you so much. That was perfect. That was it. Let me see. My next volunteer is Adri. Thank you so much. Here you have your sentence. The dog bark at the TV. Is the dog going to bark at, at the TV? <laughs> Perfect. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you so much, Andre. What is the meaning of bark? Alguien sabe qué significa bark? Bark. No, teacher. No? You don't know? Bark is going to be ladrar. Ladrar. Exactly. Thank you so much, Lorena. It's going to be ladrar. Okay, here you have bark is ladrar. And thank you so much, Lorena. This is for you. Here you have it. The students have a, in, an English lesson. Are the students uh, have an English lesson? Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> we are missing the verb. It's going to, right? Going to? Uh, is correct. Are the... A student going to have an English lesson? Perfect. 
That's it, Lorena. Thank you so much. Good intonation. Perfect. Now we are with Sandra Veronica. This is for you, Sandra. Here you have it. She wear blue hat. There you go. Is she going to wear a blue hat? Perfect. That's it. Thank you so much, Sandra. That was good. Let me see who else I'm missing. I think that Elda told me that she is going to be in the supermarket, so I will not ask her. Then we have Jessica Sanchez. Hello. Are you here, Jessica Sanchez? Hello. Yes. Okay. So can you help me with this, please? Is my dad going to play the bar? Excellent. Thank you so much. That was it. Jessica, please. Can I see your beautiful face? Look at your classmates. They have the camera on. Probably one day I can see you, right? Let me see. Who else I'm missing? Rosa Elba Rivera. This is for you. The baby crying the bus. Aha, uh -huh, Rosa Elba Rivera. This is Hello, for you. Hello, teacher. Hello. Um, yeah. It, um, the baby. Is the baby going to cry in the bus? Excellent. That's Perdón. it. Perfect. Perdón, me cuesta hablar. <laughs> no, don't worry. That was good. Excellent. Thank you so much. For the next class, right? Your camera. We are missing that little detail, okay? Thank you, thank you. Then let's see. Maria Leticia, are you here or not? No, Maria Leticia, right? Okay, no, Maria Leticia, but we have. Yes, Maria Leticia, are you here? Yes, okay. yes right. Going to do the school. Okay, one more time. Is they go to the school? Aha, uh -huh. is they going to the school? Or do we use are with they? Are. Aha. Uh -huh. So can you tell me the question? Who can help me with that? Who can stay? Yes. Who can stay? Uh -huh. Remember that in this part, we need to use the verb be are, right? Because we are talking about they. Okay. Who can help me? Can me puede ayudar with this one? Are they? Aha. Uh -huh. Going to do a school. Exactly, in that way. Thank you so much, Marta, and thank you so much, Rosalba. Are they going to go to school? In that way. Excellent. And then we have another person, Veronica Yamilet. The last person, I think, right? This is for you. She play tennis. Here you have it. Okay. Is she going to play tennis? Excellent. That's it. Thank you so much. There you go, right? Easy peasy. So we are missing four more questions. Who wants to practice? Who else wants to practice speaking? Uh-huh. Here I have the sentence. You buy lots of sweets. Who wants to practice? Another volunteer, or do I have to choose? Are you going most love on sweet? Excellent. It will be lots of sweets. Sweet. Exactly. Thank you so much. Then let's see. Here we have another one. Who is going to be my volunteer? Do I have a volunteer? Is my friend going to eat an ice cream perfect good job just remember the little detail of intonation right is my friend going to eat an ice cream okay like you are asking a question but that was it thank you so much another one my volunteer who says me thank you marlene thank you thank you thank you so here you have it's going to be grandpa fix my bike 
is is grandpa going to fix my my bike excellent that's it and the last one who can be my volunteer thank you so much marleni yes veronica thank you so much here we have she celebrate my birthday okay is she is going to celebrate my birthday excellent thank you so much so there you have it guys that was it the practice the oral practice right it was easy so we are about to finish with this part do you have any question or any doubt about yes no questions or everything is clear yes teacher no teacher yes teacher is clear everything thank you so clear. much thank you thank you thank you okay so now if that is clear with the yes no questions now we are going to move on into the wh questions right this is something easy because you need only to add a wh word can you tell me what are the wh words that we have who remember who remembers that the w what what, what? when who when how why why exactly we have like six words right we have who how what why where and when exactly that was it so we are going to watch a little video right now and i'm going to give you a little explanation later okay so right now i want you to pay attention to the video and if you have questions or doubts just let me know because i'm going to be right here so just let me play the video and we start. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, look at this. Do you see any new word? Any new word that you don't know? Probably the pronunciation of the meaning? Teacher. Yes. Yo no sé si escuché mal o... No lo dijeron exactamente como se dice, sino que en vez de going to, dijeron, eh, por ejemplo, so Tyler, are you gonna do anything? Exactly. Yes. Sí. Ah, va, va. Yo pensé que yo no. No, they say gonna, right? Like yesterday. I explained to you the contraction that we have for going to. Gonna. Exactly. So, do you. Yes, Marta? Fue la contracción. Exactly, they got the contraction. Excellent, good observation. Okay, any new word or not? You know all the words right here, right? Because you know English, easy for you. Okay, since this is easy for you, I need four people. Let me see, for Mona, Mona, it's going to be Adri, okay? And Tyler, it's going to be Raquel. So please go ahead, Adri and Raquel, please. Okay. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I am going to take my give give friends of for dinner. Oh really? Where are you going to go?
la pronunciación teacher lagunas laguna eat her favorite restaurant oh she's going to like that well, about you what are you going to do well i'm not going to go to a restaurant but i'm going to go to a dance don't like fun well how a, how a good valentine die thanks you too thank you so much girls i really like the intonation you have in some words. Like when there was a question, you were like, oh, really? That was pretty good, good pronunciation. We just have to be careful with some pronunciation, right? For example, we say girlfriend, okay? Let's say girlfriend, girlfriend. That is the pronunciation. Then, for example, we say favorite, okay? Favorite. Then we say, um, let me see, we have another one. We say dance, okay, dance. And then sounds like fun, sounds, sounds like fun, okay? That is going to be it, but thank you so much. That was so great. Then we are going to have Sarani with, um, let me see, we have right here Bernardino. Hello and welcome. So, Sarai, you are going to be Mona, and Bernardino, it's going to be Tyler, okay? Teacher. Yes? Hey, right now, uh, I only leave the class because right now I try to come back. Okay, don't worry, Bernardino, I understand, okay? Thank you so much for telling me. So, Lisandro, it's going to be Tyler, okay? So, go ahead. So Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to do a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, hey, a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. Day. You too. Excellent. Thank you too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so great. We just have some little details. For example, we say Valentine's. Okay? Valentine's. Most of the time we say Valentine's, right? But the correct pronunciation in English is going to be Valentine's. Another one. We have right here dinner, okay? That is the pronunciation of that. It's going to be dinner. Okay, so now let's continue with the WH questions, okay? So pay attention because later we are going to have an activity. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? 
Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now is your. OK, so there you go with that, right? Over there, you have the formula that we can have. And as you could see, this is something similar to yes, no questions, right? We only have to add at the beginning the WH word. So basically, it's going to be in this way. The WH word plus the verb to be plus the subject. And then we have going to like this, right? And then we are going to have the verb and the complement. Basically, that's going to be the things or the formula, the things that we need, right, to create a WH question. So now, it's my time to ask, do you have any question or any doubt about how to create WH questions or not? I'm all ears for you. If you say yes, it is clear. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Yes, for example, this one, right? You're talking about the verb must be in the present. Okay. Like in a natural form. Good question, Estrella. Thank you so much. Who else? Any other question? No questions. Okay. Since there are no more questions, we are going to have an activity, right? Because you know everything about it. Okay, so here we have the activity. What you are going to do is the following. You are going to complete this conversation with the correct form of be going to. Okay? So over there you have it. Here you have the first example. What are you going to do for Halloween? Right? This is going to be the first example. And then... B, it's going to be, I don't know. And then you continue with the sentence. For this, since this is something really easy for you because you know this part, I'm going to give you only two minutes. Two minutes and no more. Because later I will ask you to complete the conversation. Hurry up because the two minutes are running from now. Okay, you are missing one more minute. Okay, so hurry up.
All right, so the two minutes are done. Let's start completing this part, this conversation, little conversation that we have. So who can help me with letter B? I don't know. And then continue. Do I have a volunteer or do I have to choose one volunteer? No. Yes, thank you so much. Go ahead, Rosalba. Okay, I don't know. I'm not going to do anything special. Excellent. Good intonation and good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Let's see. Then we have letter A one more time. Who can help me with that? Yes, Marta? What time am I going to have a party? Can you come? Excellent, yes. Well, Pat and I are going to have a party. Can you come? Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much, Marta. Then we have B. Sure. Who can help me with that part? Mm -hmm. Nobody. Okay. So thank you so much, Brenda. Guadalupe. Sure. Where, where are you going to have the party? Perfect. Good intonation, Brenda. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's see the other one. It. This is going to be for Sarai. It is going to be at Pat's house. Excellent. Thank you so much. What time? This is going to be for Jessica. What time? No Jessica today? No Jessica. Okay, so thank you so much, Adri. Um, what time? What time is the party going to start? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Then we have at six. This is going to be for Raquel Abigail. Mm. At six, six, and it going to and. Sería going to, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes. In our, no sé cómo se pronuncia esa palabra. Around? Around. Midnight. Midnight. Excellent. Thank you so much. It's going to be at six. And it is going to end around midnight. We are about to finish. Who? Who can help me with that? Let me see. Who is you, you going to invite? Okay. Can you say it one more time? Who is? Aha. You, Stop right there, please. Who is you? You who going you, to is or do we use are? Uh, who are? Who uh, are? Aha. Uh -huh. Going. To do invite, invite. Uh -huh. We just need one verb, okay, Jessica? So it's going to be who are you going to? And then we need the verb. The verb is invite or do? Do. Is do. Is do, do what we have between parentheses? This word. Do in between. Uh -huh. No, no, no. The two words, no. Only invite. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Only this verb. We don't need do because we don't have that as an auxiliary. Okay. So it's going to be, who are you going to invite? Okay, Jessica? Who are you going 
to going to invitai aha uh -huh. invite let's repeat invite. invite invite excellent can you read the complete question please who are you going to do invitai okay why do why do jessica going to do no it's going to be right. who are you going to invite like this uh, look at the chat who why are you going to invite okay exactly in that way because look at the sentence at the other one who are you going to do invite aha uh -huh. in that question in that question sorry we have two verbs and remember that we only need one okay the one that is between parentheses okay and between parentheses we have invite so the correct question is going to be this one who are you going to invite okay is that clear jessica yeah yes sure about it uh, más o menos. <laughs> <laughs> okay if you have questions just let me know okay if you don't know tell me teacher i don't know i don't understand and there's no problem i will explain it one more time jessica okay so pay attention to this part i'm going to explain it to you for the structure to wh questions we need a wh word and as your classmates said right a wh word can be what why where when etc right we have seven words right there so you can use a wh word plus the verb be that can be am um, is or are then we need a subject and as you could see right here we have going to in a base form of a verb it means only one verb okay so as we can see in this example we have the wh word who the verb be it's going to be are exactly are then the subject oh. you here we have going to and the verb is going to be invite okay because we only need one verb is that clear jessica or not yes yes okay thank you so much and the last one that we have we who can help me with that part who can help me probably sandra veronica can help me okay uh, we are going we are going to ask our, our good friends okay we are going to ask all our good friends Solo me cuesta pronunciar este all, como oh. esa, esa unión de all, all, así. Ok, it's going to be all or. All or, ah, ok. But when you put it together, it's going to be all or friends, all or friends. All or friends, ok. It is like when you say all or in English, right? <laughs> exactly, it's in that way, all or friends. Um, exactly in that way thank you so much okay guys homework assignment for tomorrow yes we have homework for tomorrow easy right because you know this topic it's going to be to create only two questions two wh questions okay that you can ask a friend a classmate for example what are you going to do for christmas there you go with an example. I will type it in the chat so that you can have an example. Look at the example that I have. What are you going to do for Christmas? That can be an example of the homework assignment, okay? So I want you to create two questions like this. Two WH questions. What are you going to do for Christmas? What are you going to do for your birthday, for example, right? 
So that's going to be your homework assignment for tomorrow. Remember, guys, one thing. You have to do the assignments that you have in the platform. Remember that I want to see your beautiful faces. So for tomorrow, right, take a shower, comb your hair, and turn on your camera, okay? I want to see your beautiful faces tomorrow. Another thing, your full name, okay? Please. For example, as Adriana, right? Adriana has Adriana Lisette Molina Rador, okay? The full name, please, for tomorrow. And the two questions that we have. So guys, is there any question or any doubt about it? Teacher, the uh, homework is about the Día um, Festivos que había dicho? Yes. Okay. The celebrations. Celebration. And the video that we saw. Yes. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any any other question or not? No. No. Okay. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for being right here and hope to see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.